Hey there, this is Jeff Reeves, editor of InvestorPlace.com. I'm talking with John Markman of Traders Advantage. So, John, one sector that you're pretty bullish on right now is, is cloud stocks. And I think a lot of people are, are bullish on the cloud in general because they hear it everywhere. I mean, what's, what's the difference, though, between the practical reality of an investable idea and just hearing people throw around this term, cloud computing, like it's the second coming? <laughs> well, it's interesting that you, you mentioned that because about three years ago, no one had heard of cloud computing. And, or even five, five years ago, no one had heard of it. Three years, maybe a little bit. Now it's kind of getting to be better known, but I wouldn't say it's really very well known. Um, cloud computing is, is simply the idea of, of serving uh, software uh, to uh, people's uh, devices, no matter where they are. So um, devices, whether they have a, an iPad, an iPhone, a Android device, or um, on the road, on the road. Um, they're able to get the software that they need when they need it, as opposed to um, um, server-based software, which is only available when you're in your home base and able to u access the mainframe servers. Yeah, we live in a mobile age. Everybody's everywhere now. You got to have your software come with you, right? Exactly. And the, 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 the way that people, maybe most people know this is that, it's, let's say you have Pandora, or let's say you have um, Spotify for your music. And if you change Spotify on, on a playlist on, on your Spotify on your desktop, it magically also appears, that same playlist appears on your iPad and it also appears on your iPhone. That's the cloud at work. It's like you're sent your data everywhere where you are without having to think about it. It's constantly syncing. Now you would think that the big uh, software companies like Oracle and Hewlett Packard and SAP would get this immediately, but they don't. They've, it's taken a long, long time to figure out that this is where people want to go. And in the meantime, a lot of um, smaller startups have um, been spawned to take advantage of the cloud. Uh, and a couple that I like and have done really well so far are Workday, which does HR in the cloud, human relations in the cloud. Um, another company is called Cornerstone On Demand, which does um, talent tracking in the cloud. And um, there's many, many others. Uh, ExamWorks, which is a company that helps hospitals make sure that uh, doctors are um, up to speed on the kind of medicine and, uh, that they're supposed to be pr providing to customers. Um, and there's one called, uh, that I like a lot, a lot like, that's called WageWorks. And WageWorks is a company that provides all of the, um, of a large company's uh, benefits uh, through a cloud-based um, service. So all these kind of enterprise-based cloud companies, I mean, they're, there is this, whatever you want to call it, kind of systemic risk of the big guys figuring it out. And Oracle's always got excuses. You know, they, they blame Europe or they blame their salesmen weren't selling properly earlier this year. Um, you know, bigger, bigger picture, do you think that these smaller players, uh, are, are they buyout bait? Are they going to get bought by a bigger player? Do you think that eventually the big guys will adapt and then start to eat their lunch? I mean, what's the longer the, prospects for the this? The history so far is that the big, that the big guys like Oracle buy these software, uh, these smaller cloud companies, and then they disappear. So, and then a new competitor comes along that, that gets to eat um, Oracle's lunch again. <laughs> uh, these, there are, the big companies have not been able to figure out how to get out of the mainframe. So it is really, a, I think this is kind of a neat long-term opportunity. Um, one of the great e examples is a company called Cornerstone On, on Demand, which makes, um, let's just say video, helps companies make v training videos, let's say, uh, for their employees. Let's say they, and I don't know if FedEx uses them, but let's say that you go to work for FedEx and um, FedEx wants you to load the truck in a certain way, wants you to use the terminal in a certain way, wants you to interact with the customer in a certain way. Well, in the old days, they would have- um, VHS tapes, man. You used to have stick them in the player. <laughs> VHS tapes, or you'd have a, a trainer um, come and teach individual yeah. people. Now what they do is they put you in a booth and you learn it all from um, a cloud-based service. And then uh, about once every three months or more, um, they benchmark you and they make sure that you still know what you're supposed to be doing and when you're supposed to do it. So instead of benchmarking you from an uh, individual who may or may, may or may not be biased against you, et cetera, you're benchmarked um, against uh, yourself and the standards that the company has created. And it's all f coming from a cloud-based service called uh, Cornerstone On Demand. Well, I mean, that makes sense. I mean, especially now in these tight times when companies aren't necessarily hiring and they're looking to get productivity wherever they can. A lot of these enterprise cloud programs, they kind of help you get more for your money um, if you're a company trying to, you know, make your earnings per share go up without necessarily adding to your payroll, right? Exactly. Companies are trying to wring more productivity out of every, every worker. And um, you know, Oracle has 
bought companies similar to C Cornerstone, such as they, they bought a company called Success Factors. <clears throat> but as a great ex example, the, um, the people who ran Success Factors and made it successful, as soon as they were able to get out of the Oracle, they split. Took the money and run. They took the money and run, and then the, 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 that unit devolved to another group of guys who were not as committed. And um, it's really dissolved in a lot of ways, and allowing Cornerstone on Demand to come along and raise prices because they have less competition. Yeah, well, those, those are some really good trade ideas, John. Thanks for being with me. Thanks for having me. And if you want some more ideas on CloudSocks, uh, check out InvestorPlace.com and get more insight from Mr. Markman.